The Simbu community in Port Moresby grieved as they entered the main venue. They were led by their governor, Michael Dua. Simbu leaders expressed sadness at the passing of a great leader who loved Simbu and Papua New Guinea. Among those who paid tribute was member for Sine Sine Yongamug and Minister for Petroleum Kerengakua, who honored late Sir Michael for choosing to lead the country under a democratic system of government. Kua further called on the leaders of the country to always uphold the rule of law, urging those leaders who ousted late Sir Michael from his seat in 2011 to make a public apology in order to maintain unity in the country. Judgment of the Supreme Court in this thick, 300 pages plus. Now I'm talking Michael Somare, he's still Prime Minister. Mani go past na wogen karangi, ino apologize na ikam ikam na green si fidai. Mino like karim dis la heavy lo bell blow milpla, all people go forward. This la vi, now green si fidai, memory blow dis la bad experience, you mean must plan him want him. And the only way we can do it, so was you, usat leader, you go past na you walk him dis la. You are him dis la talk talk, now time blow you lo step up na come na apologize. Since he retired from politics, the late Grand Chief lived through two governments. Kua apologized on behalf of the second government for not meeting the expectations of the people. Display expectations, me play no meet him, missed up or display second government, missed up, Prime Minister blow missed up. Suppose me play let him all people blow me blood down, no expectations blow. Time Michael Somara is up yet. Now on behalf of my Prime Minister, all members blow cabinet and government blow me play. Me talk sorry. We did do our best. The Simbu community brought food, including pigs and gifts, to the Somare family to express their sorrow.